Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So one question I receive a lot is about how we can dial in a compressor to give our sound more sustain. I've done videos on compression before. Some people find compression a little overwhelming. You know, all the different parameters, threshold, attack, release, knee, uh, mix, you know, they, uh, makeup gain. They have all these different parameters that they may or may not really know what they do and they don't really know how to dial in to get a very particular purpose. And a compressor can be used in so many different ways. I have many videos about compressors explaining those. I'll try to remember to link to some of those below. But for this video, I want to talk to folks who have been asking me, and there's been quite a few over quite a period of time, and I probably should have got to this video a little earlier, how they can set their compressor to sustain their tone more. And I'm going to use a fairly clean tone for this, something that, you know, won't have that much sustain to begin with, with a single coil pickup equipped guitar, my Vigier Expert Strat style guitar, and we'll see if we can't just eke a little bit more sustain out of it using certain compressor settings. So let's go over to HX Edit and take a look. So what I'm starting with here is just a, a very basic preset. I have the Matchstick Channel 1 through its kind of paired up stock cab, the 212 Match H30, through just a little tiny bit of Hall Reverb. I didn't even touch the settings on this. This sounds like this. All right, so no compression on it. I don't have my little compressor I normally use at the end. So I'm going to come in and use a deluxe comp for this. Now we only need a mono comp simply because we're feeding it a mono guitar signal. Now we have threshold, ratio, attack, release, mix, level, and knee, and we want to know where we should maybe set these to work the best to get a maximum sustain out of our tone. Okay, so the thing I'm going to start with is the threshold. Now, with I, I'm not going to go in depth in these parameters. I am going to do a video very soon going over these again in a quicker setting, but I do have a video where I go in depth in explaining these. But threshold basically means where the compressor is going to start kicking in, at what point the guitar level has to hit before that compression actually does anything. Some people set up a compressor and just never set the threshold where it's actually doing anything and they think, oh, listen to how great the compressor sounds and it's not really affecting the sound at all. So what we need to do and what I'm going to tell you to do here is simply this. Turn that threshold down about as low as it can go to start and see how much compression we can get out of this. So right now with these stock settings, if I look down at my Helix, I'm getting a couple dB of gain reduction, really not much. It's making the sound louder. I mean, if I bring my level control down so the makeup gain isn't so much. You can see we're probably only getting maybe one dB of compression. It's not adding a whole ton of sustain yet, but what I'm gonna do I'm going to bring this threshold all the way down. Now what's going to happen obviously is we're going to get a huge drop in signal. But that's the very thing we need to add this sustain. So how do we make up for this drop in signal? Well if I look down at my compressor settings on my Helix, I can see it's peaking out at something like minus 24 dB of gain reduction. Well, I'm going to come into my level now and I'm going to start cranking that up so I can get these back at unity gain. Let's start off with maybe 12 or so. Now you'll hear that some noise comes back in. Versus when it's turned off. So that is the one drawback to using a compressor to get loss of sustain. As that compression uh, hangs on and brings the lower level signals up, it's going to also boost the noise. Now in a mix or live, that may not be such a big deal. If we're sitting here just in front of a set of monitors, maybe it will. But that is kind of one of the drawbacks. And a noise gate isn't really going to help it because it'll chop everything off, including the note. Okay, so let's turn that back on. So now... So you can see even the 12 dB of gain reduction is not enough. Let's... Keep raising that, you really hear the noise start to come in. And like my meters were showing me, about 24 dB of gain reduction.
Okay, so now all of a sudden we have a very similar volume when the compressor's on and off, but watch what happens when I hold a note with it off. As is to be expected, the note kind of tails off. It's not really heavy sustain. Now, if I turn this on, I get basically the same amount of signal when I hit the note because the compressor squashes it, and then it slowly releases that compression so the tailed notes sound louder than the initial note. Here we get more sustain, I could say to you, well, there you go, just lower your threshold and off you go. And I guess there is, you know, some truth to that, that that's going to give you a little more sustain, but that noise is coming up a lot. Uh, let's see if we can shape this a little more. Now, the ratio is going to be an important setting. This is basically going to tell us that, it, for instance, this, this sort of stock setting of ratio of six to one, that means for every six dB that the signal surpasses the threshold, the compressor is only going to let one dB through. So you can hear with this setting here at six to one. It really messes with the dynamics of the tone. So I'm gonna actually come over here and I'm gonna set this to two to one. Now what happens with that when I do that? I don't need as much makeup gain. I'm not getting as much gain reduction, obviously, because I've set my ratio less, but it's also going to be a more natural sound. So to compensate for that, then I'm going to bring my level or my makeup gain, and let's bring it down to maybe like 14-ish. <laughs> Not bad. Now we have a little less noise. More sustain and a little more natural of a sound. All right, so what else can we do then? Well, the attack time is gonna be important as well. If I come in and set the fastest attack time possible. You'll see how it really chops off my pick attack. Now that may be something you want, and maybe something you don't want. So, I find it becomes a little less natural if we do kind of chop it off like that. So I was finding that in and around 30, 40 milliseconds maybe. works all right. Now the release is going to tell us that after the sound drops below the threshold, that's gonna be how long it takes for the compression to fully release. Now, it kind of makes sense that if I go with lower release settings or faster release settings, I'm not gonna get as much sustain because as soon as that sound drops below the threshold, the compressor's gonna let go. So if I take that release and crank it all the way up to two and a half seconds, it's going to help me to kind of eke out just a little bit more sustain out of the sound. So the only thing is, if I set it to two and a half seconds, if you hear something that that does to the tone that you don't like, then well, adjust accordingly. But I guess basically the longer release time you can get away with, the more sustain you're gonna kind of squeeze out of the compressor. Okay, so the level control, like I've already been messing with, is going to be what we call makeup gain, right? So whatever gain the compressor is taking away, we bring it back in with the makeup gain. So if it's squashing it by 13 dB of compression, we add 13 dB of compression back in and it's gonna be more close to unity gain with the unaffected signal. So as we have here, that's the signal with no compression.
So you'll notice if I play with the compressor off and I hold a note, and then engage the compressor, the sound lifts up. And that's because in the beginning on the transients, the compressor's grabbing those and squashing them. So the beginning notes get squashed down so that they're more in line with the end notes that are decaying as the compressor releases. And that allows us to bring the overall volume of the signal up. And that's why when we have it off, <laughs> Even though we have almost 14 dB of added gain here, those initial notes are getting squashed. So we've basically raised the end decayed notes by 14 dB as that compressor releases. So the end notes, the, the, the tail decayed part of the note is gonna sound much louder than with the compressor off, but the initial loud parts of the sound are going to be squashed down, if that makes sense. So that's why we get this sustain out of it. With the release set long like that, as it passes back below the threshold, in this case, we should still get two and a half seconds of longer release. Now I'm not saying you should set your release at two and a half seconds. Set it to wherever, it's giving you what you need sustain wise, but at the same time not affecting the sound in a way that you don't like. Now the knee control also, I have found that by cranking it up gives a little more natural sound. Now, if we come over to zero dB here. Kind of see right there. So we do get a little bit of noise brought up, but at the same time, we get more sustain out of it. So again, at these settings, it clamps down on that initial attack, and then as the compressor releases, the notes at the end are closer to the same volume as the notes in the beginning, allowing us to raise our overall level. Like I said, though, already a couple times, we do get some extra noise with that, and there's not a whole lot we can do about that. That's one of the drawbacks to it. Now, with this here, if you wanted to, once you have this dialed in to something similar, if you wanted to mess with the ratios, <laughs> You'll notice that it's squashing more and more and you would have to adjust your makeup gain or your level to, to accommodate for that. So even if I went from two to one, you see the volume drop at three to one, I may have to add I had to have somewhere in five dB of gain for that ratio difference of two to, from two to one to three to one.
But as you can see, we can get a lot more sustain out of that. So my, my settings would probably be in this particular situation, you know, around 14 dB on the makeup gain, threshold all the way down to minus 60 dB, ratio of two to one. Attack 40 milliseconds in and around there, 30, 40 milliseconds, release all the way up if you don't mind it there, uh, to, to eke out every sort of little bit of extra um, sustain you can get. The knee up around 20 dB. And then the other thing you could do if you wanted to get a little bit more dynamics into this is use the mix control. And I'd have to, I'd want you to be careful with this, but maybe pull the mix down to, I don't know, maybe 80% and let a little bit of that initial unaffected signal through. <laughs> Gives you a little bit of the dynamics of the unaffected signal in there, but still getting that sustain out of the compressor. So something like that, and you may have to bring your level down, your makeup gain down on that, but anywhere from 85, 90% might just give you what you want and you get a nice little tone. <laughs> So I think those will help you to get the settings you might need. Obviously you want to adjust them to your own taste, which is fine, like always, right? We always want to do that. Everybody's got different ideals for what works best for them, but that just gives you an overview of kind of the basics of how you can use that compressor to get a little more sustain. So I hope that was of use to you guys. Um, you know, leave me any questions below and I'll really try my hardest to answer them. I don't always have a chance to get to them all. There's a lot of questions that come in, uh, but I, uh, I do try my best to get to them. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, please like the video, share it with anybody who you think would get use out of it. That would be much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back real soon with some more content. Thanks again for tuning in. Ciao for now.